I'm Terrielle from Terrielle Samuels Pilates and welcome to part two of my six part old school mat series. Today I'm going to take you through a beginner Pilates flow. lengthwise on your mat. Make sure that you're centered, hands behind the back of the thighs, and roll yourself slowly down with control to lie flat on your back. From here I want you to stretch your legs long. We're going to do a quick body scan. So let's press the palms flat down to the mat, squeeze your legs tight together. I want Squeezing the legs tight together is called hugging into your midline. So I want you to work that image of everything in your body just kind of pulling into your midline even your arms. So the arms are pulling in, the abdominals are pulling in, the legs are squeezing tight together. Now see if you can get really long through your whole body and just keep everything super, super tight. Push the palms into the mat, widening the chest. Good. And then go ahead and let all of that effort go. From here, we're going to do the 100 to warm up. So I want you to pull both knees into the chest, give them a hug. Lift your head, neck, and shoulders, eyes on the abs. Now the legs will reach out to 45 degrees, squeezing them tight together, feet in Pilates stance, heels together, toes slightly apart, arms long by your sides, hovering about an inch off the mat, belly button down to spine. Now start to pump the arms up and down, breathe in, and breathe out, two, three, four, five, breathe in, two, three, four, five, exhale, three, four, five, keep going like this. And exhale. Now if you feel like your low back is not loving this position of the legs, you can lift them up or you can bend them in or you can flatten them down onto the mat as options. But for here we'll keep the legs at 45 degrees for the, for the ideal. Then we have about 40 more pumps. And out with the air. In with the air. Out with the air. Make sure you're breathing. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two. And exhale, two, three, four, five. One more breath in. Last breath out. Hold your position, arms steady. Keep your head lifted. Now try to peel your spine up a little bit higher. Maybe the legs lower a little bit more for an added challenge. Ooh, those abs burn. And now pull the knees into the chest. Lower your head, neck, and shoulders down. Next are roll-ups. So I want you to reach your legs really long onto the mat. Let's squeeze them together in Pilates stance. From here, we'll take the arms all the way up and back and stretch everything out. Now you can let your ribs go, you can let your abs go, and just enjoy this for a moment. Take a deep breath. Now, all right from here, we'll begin our roll-ups. So we'll take the arms up, lift your head up, and start to peel your spine off the mat and you want to think bone by bone, inch by inch and go ahead and stretch forward over the thighs. Good. From here we'll reverse, rolling slowly down, bone by bone, inch by inch. Now if you're like me, if your back is a little bit tight, it might not be as smooth going for the first few. We want to keep warming up the spine by working the articulation through the spine as much as possible. Arms lift, head lifts. Peel your spine off. Roll it up. Keep stretching through your legs. Keep working those abdominals. Stretch it forward. Keep the belly pulling tight. And then roll it slowly down with control. We're going to do three more. Arms reach back. Big breath in. Roll up through your spine. Use your abdominals. Now try not to hitch up like I just did. That's cheating. Keep it as smooth as possible. Round and reach forward. And then slowly roll it down with control. Scoop your belly in. Yes. And we got two more. Roll it slowly up. Ooh. And pull the waist in as you stretch forward. Stretch a little bit deeper than before. Roll it slowly down. Bone by bone, inch by inch. We go to the lower back, the middle back, and the upper back. One more time. Breathe in, reach back. And then exhale, roll up and stretch it forward. Arms reach. And then roll it slowly down to the mat with control. 
control. All right. Bring those arms long by your sides and recenter yourself on the mat. We're going to take the right knee into the chest for single leg circles. From here, give it a hug. Stretch it straight up to the sky, palms flat to the mat, chest open. Externally rotate the thigh just a little bit so your heels pointing in towards your belly button. Now we're going to lift that leg up, 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 and over towards the opposite shoulder, and then swing it down and around, lift it up, hold it. Go again. Cross, lift, down and around, and up. Three more. Up and over, around and lift it. Two more times. Belly button in, your, your shoulders and your hips don't move while you do this. Last one. Cross and around and up. Now reverse. Out to the side, across, and lift. And a four. And around and up. Three more. And around and up. And two. And around and up. One more time. Hold it at the top. Ooh, my leg's shaking. And then pull the knee into the chest to stretch it out. From here, we'll stretch that leg along onto the mat. Left leg now pulls into the chest. Give it a big hug. From here, you'll stretch the leg to the sky. Palms flat to the mat, chest open. Belly button in. Now, externally rotate the thigh a little bit. Heel reaches towards the belly button. Lift that heel up and over towards the opposite shoulder. And then cross it down and around and lift. Across and around and up. Three more times. And around and up. And a two. And around and lift. One more. Hold it at the top. Then reverse. Five times. Cross and up. And four. And around and up. Three more. And around and lift. And two. And around. Stop at the top. One more. Hold it there. Lift it a little bit more. Get that leg to shake. Yes. And then hug it in. Ah. Now we're going to do a roll up to transition to our rolling like a ball. Leg stretch out, arms reach. Pull your belly in. Roll up through your spine. Stretch it forward. Now scoot your seat towards your feet. Grab onto your ankles. Hold here. Tip back just an inch so that you're in a rounded position balancing on your tailbone. Now we're going to rock and roll like a ball. Keep your eyes on your abs, chin to chest the whole time. Let's go back to the tips of shoulder blades and all the way up to balance. And again, rock it back. Roll it up. Whoop. Find that balance. It's okay if you fall out of it. This one takes practice. Rock it back through the center of the spine. Roll up. Five more times. Rock it back. Take it up. Now, as you rock back, heels pull in tighter. Rock it back. And up. Four more. Rock it back. Roll it up three more times. And a back. And a up. Two more. Rock back. Round that spine. And up. One more time. Rock back. All the way up. Hold your balance. And then place your feet onto the floor. From here, we're going to center ourselves back down on the mat. Stretch your legs long. Reach your arms forward. And then roll yourself slowly down with control to lie flat on the mat. Let's hug both knees into the chest. Get ready for the ab series. All right, first the single leg stretch. We'll lift the head, neck, and shoulders up, eyes on the abs. Pull your right knee into the chest, left leg long. Let's do six on each side. Two pulls here. Pull, pull, switch your legs. Pull, pull, switch. Pull, pull, switch. Pull, pull, switch. Now as you do this, elbows wide to the side, chest open. Belly button down to the mat. Just keep curling from that breastbone. We got two more each leg. And a two. And a one, and a one. Now pull both knees in, head, neck, and shoulders down. Look from side to side if you have tension in your neck. We're going to lift up again. Head, neck, and shoulders up. Eyes on the belly, double leg stretch. Now, arms reach up and back. Legs reach out 45 degrees. Hold it there. You're in Pilates stance with your legs. Heels together, toes apart. Thighs wrapping and squeezing into the midline. Circle the arms. Hug your knees in. Five more. Inhale, stretch back. Circle and hug. Four more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hug to the center. Three more times. Inhale. Exhale, hands to ankles. Two more. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, hug. One more time. Inhale, reach back, hold it. See if you can lift your chest a little bit more. Ugh. Circle around. Hug the knees in. Lower your head, neck, and shoulders down. Look from side to side here. Stretch your neck. Single straight leg stretch or scissors is next. So now I want you to lift your head up. Both legs straight to the ceiling. Now grab onto your right ankle and send your left leg long. If you feel like you're not flexible enough to do this, you can always walk down the leg to the upper thigh, never behind the knee though. 
Reach for the ankle, that's the ideal. Now pull the leg in twice. Pull, pull, switch your legs. Now as the leg switches, you wanna keep your trunk really steady. So the hips are steady, the shoulders stay lifted. Elbows bending to the side to get that stretch. Pull, pull, switch, pull, pull, switch. We have three more each leg. See if you can lift up even higher. Eyes on the abs, curling from that breastbone. Last one, and one, both knees pull in. Head, neck, and shoulders lower with control. Next is double straight leg stretch. Take your hands palm over palm, fingertip to wrist, and stack them. Put them right behind the nape of your neck. Now I want you to just look straight up at the ceiling and let your elbows fall to the side so that they're heavy on the mat. Keep your knees into the chest while we do this. This is your rest position. And now lift your head, neck, and shoulders up, eyes on the abs. Work that upper curl. Now we'll take the legs straight to the ceiling, Pilates stance. Hold here. From here, the legs lower down three inches. One, two, three, they lift back up. Lower them down again. Lower, 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 lift. Lower, 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 lift. Three more like that. Lower, two, three, and up. Two more, two, three, and up. One more time, two, three, and up. Pull your knees in, rest the head, neck, and shoulders down. Now we're four fists of the way on the abs series. From here, we're gonna lift the head, neck up, head, neck, and shoulders up again, eyes on the abs. Now, twist to your left. Think right elbow to left knee. Right leg will stretch out to 45 degrees. Now I want you to hold this position and try to get that elbow across the body to touch the knee. Look down at your bottom elbow and then keep the lift in the chest as you switch over to the side. This is slow. Hold it here. Lift up higher, cross over more for three. Get even higher, two. Even more, one. Up in the center, switch it. Hold it for three. Up even higher, two. Even more, one. Up in the center to switch. Hold it for three. Even more, two. Wider with those elbows, one. And up and over. Last time each side, hold it, three. Even more, two. Work your scoop, belly button to spine, one. And over, last time, hold it for three. Get higher, two. Even more, one. And then pull everything in, resting the head, neck, and shoulders down. Now, here's your biggest challenge, a roll up. So the arms will reach back, legs will go out onto the mat. We'll take the arms up to the ceiling, lift your head up. Can your abs do it? Roll all the way up and then stretch over your legs. Drop your head down for a couple of breaths and then roll it up nice and tall. Next on the list is spine stretch forward. So from here, I want you to scoot back a little bit, separate your legs a little bit wider than the mat, flex your feet back, arms right in line with the shoulders. Lift up really tall through your spine, breathe in. Exhale, chin to the chest, round it over. Stretch over the top of a table, pulling your waist in, drop your head down really heavy. Stack your spine up bone by bone, inch by inch. Lift up tall, big inhale, lift it. Exhale, chin to the chest, reach it forward, stretch, stretch, stretch. Roll it up, up, relax the shoulders, lift. One more breath in, big breath in. Exhale, round over, reach, belly button pulls in, reach, reach, and then stack the spine up, up, up. One more time, inhale, exhale, round, two, three, and roll up the spine for three, two, one. Relax your arms down. Next is neck roll, flip to your belly. All right. So now, I want you to place your hands underneath your armpits like you're going to do a push-up. Legs are squeezing together in Pilates stance, and those elbows are hugging in tight to the sides of the ribs. All 10 fingerprints press down onto the mat. Now, nose hovers off about an inch off the mat here. From here, press into your arms, belly button in, pubic bone, hip bones press down to the mat. Press up about halfway so that your elbows are at a 90 degree angle, your chest is lifted off the mat, collarbones wide. Now. Hold here, see if you can get longer through your spine, keep squeezing those legs together. Keep holding, keep pulling your belly button in, and now slowly lower yourself down with control. Let's do that again. Now, press into your hands, lift up. 
I find that this is a super simple exercise, but it kills. The abdominals pull in, the shoulders pull down. See is squeezing, thighs are squeezing, get those heels together. And then slowly lower down with control. Now we're gonna add a head circle, press into your arms. Lift up to a 90 degree elbow angle. Look to the right, circle your chin, down and around. All the way to the left, look center, stretch the neck. Now reverse to the left, circle, down and around. All the way to the right, look straight ahead. Lower yourself down with control. One more time, press up. Maybe your arms are burning, mine are. Pull your belly in. Look to the left, circle, down and around to the right. Look straight ahead, look to the right. Circle, down and around to the left. Look straight ahead, hold it here. Chest wide open, skin of the collarbones is pulling wide. Lower yourself down to the bottom. Now sit back onto your heels for a nice deep stretch. Long arms, forehead down on the mat. Three deep breaths here, guys. Good, roll it up. From here, side kick series. So now I want you to lie down on one side. Line your whole back body up with the back edge of the mat. And then we're gonna prop our head up on to our elbow like so. If you have neck issues, this isn't comfortable, you can always lie down on your bicep. So we're gonna keep it here. Toes reach forward, so we want both legs, both toes slightly off the edge of the mat. Keep pulling your abdominals in really tight, just make sure you're lined up in a straight line from the crown of your head all the way to the tail. Bottom arm here is gonna be right in front of your powerhouse, collarbones open wide. Now lift your top leg off an inch. We want to keep it right in line with the hip. Hold here. Now stretch it out as long as you can. Get it really, really long. And then we'll take it forward in line with the hip. We'll kick it once, kick it a little bit further, and then stretch it all the way back for eight. Kick and kick and reach for seven. Abs stay tight front and front and reach it back. Now as you do this, make sure you're looking straight ahead and not looking down at your feet. We wanna make sure that spine is nice and long and stretch it back. You have three more and send it back for two. Kick, kick further and reach it back. Last one and reach it back. Hold here. See if you can send that leg out a little bit longer. There should be a little bit of space where your waist is off the mat. So if you slide your fingers underneath here, you're reaching that leg out so long that you have some space underneath the mat here in your waist. Hold that, keep that lifted, stack your legs one on top of the other. We go up and down. Now kick the leg up to the sky, send it down for three, two, and one. Five more, lift it up, send it down. Three, two, one, and four. Kick up, reach down, two, one, Three more, kick it up, down, get longer with that leg. Two more, lift it up, two, three. One more time, kick up and reach and reach and hold that leg, it's longer, don't rest it. No resting. Now send the leg slightly in front of your bottom leg, hold it, make the leg longer. I know, keep reaching it, we're gonna circle for 10 and nine, work the up, eight, seven, six, up, Five, up, four, up, three, two, and one. Now slide that leg back behind you, and then we go on the reverse for 10, and nine, and eight, up, seven, up. Keep working that up, reaching the leg longer, and four, and three, and two, and one. Rest that leg. Ooh, it burns, it's really nice. All right, so now we're gonna flip over to the other side. You can just simply, flip over, you don't have to swing your legs around like I just did. Minimum of movement in your transitions is always best in a Pilates flow. So make sure that you're in a long line here. Same setup as before. Shoulders, crown of head, all the way down to the tailbone in a straight line. Both legs slightly off the front edge of your mat, almost in a 45 degree hip angle. Top arm down, right in front of your powerhouse. 
make sure you have that space in between your waist and the mat. You should be able to slide your fingertips underneath you. Now plant that hand down, chest open. Look straight ahead. Lift your top leg off, hover it off an inch, get it really long. Now we kick it forward, front, kick further, and reach it back, seven more, and kick, and send it back, four, six, and kick, and reach it back, five more times, and kick, and send it back, and a four, and reach, three more, and kick, and reach it back, last two, and kick, make sure that upper body's not moving, one more time, and send it back. Now stack your legs one on top of the other. Keep your toes and your knees slightly rotated towards the ceiling. We'll kick that leg high to the sky up, send it down, two, three, and lift, and lower, two, make it longer, and up, and reach, two, three, and up, and reach, two, three, two more, kick up, two, three, Last one, lift it up, and two, and three, and hold. Now for circles, leg goes slightly in front, hold there. Make it longer, reach it more. Now we circle up for 10, and nine, and eight. And these are small, about the size of a grapefruit. Six, and five, up, and four, up, and three, and two, and one. Now send the leg back behind you and reverse it. For 10, up, and nine, and eight, and seven, six and five four and three two and one hold it there keep that leg lifted reach it a little bit longer and then relax it down from here we do the exercise called seal so i want you to just turn to where your legs are on the mat and scoot yourself a little bit forward now this exercise is a lot like rolling like a ball but a little bit more pizzazz so it's kind of fun all right, from here, I'm actually going to turn towards you so you can see what my hands are doing. We're going to take the hands, make, make a prayer, dive them in between your legs, and wrap them around the tops of your ankles like so. And you want all ten fingertips pointing towards each other. From here, you'll tip yourself backward, draw your chin to your chest, and find your balance. Now, in this position, I'm going to turn to the side, you want to make sure that your inner thighs and your forearms are pressing equally into each other with the chin down to the chest, keeping the tension in the legs and the arms. Now we're going to clap the feet together three times. One, two, three. And it's not just the feet moving, it's the hips opening. One, two, three. Now we add a roll. Rock back, come up to balance, clap three times. One, two, three. A few more like that. Rock it back. Take it up, clap one, two, three. Rock it back, take it up, clap one, two, two more times like that. Back and up and a one, two, three. One more, rock back, rock up, clap one, two, three. Hold your balance, keep squeezing inner thighs, keep squeezing forearms. Now we're gonna add a clap as you roll back. So we're gonna essentially clap in two sets of three with each roll like this, chin to the chest, clap one, two, three, rock back, clap one, two, three, rock up, one, two, three, rock back, one, two, three, rock up, clap one, three, and back, and one, three, and up, and one, two, three, and back, and one, two, three, three more times, one, two, three, rock back, one, two, three, rock up, one, two, three, rock back, one, two, Three, rock up, two more, ooh, and back, see I fell, that's okay. One more, one, two, three, rock back, and up. Now hold your position, keep your balance, and then with control you can take your arms out, set your feet down onto the mat, and you made it through your beginner Pilates flow. All right guys, thank you so much for joining me on the mat today for a workout. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And you can also sign up for my newsletter list to get notifications when I post new videos by clicking the link below in the description. Any questions or comments, feel free to drop them in the comments below. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.